This is wild. And this is raising some eyebrows. And by some, I mean many. Dr. Fauci backed controversial Wuhan lab. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I was reading the story that, that where they, they actually, op, you know, were suspected, you know, the idea that this could have leaked out of a Wuhan lab wasn't actually that far-fetched. Um, and that, you know, that wasn't a conspiracy theory <laughs> at all. Dr. Fauci backed controversial Wuhan lab with millions of U.S. dollars for risky coronavirus research. So the reason why this is crazy is that, you know, months ago, apparently, Fauci said something to the, the effect of, you know, Trump's going to have to deal with something, um, you know, pretty substantial very soon. He, you know, something to the, I, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'm not even getting the words right. But basically, Fauci warned that something was coming very soon. He intimated that something was going to happen soon. So people were like, what the hell? What is going on? What really is going on? Um, you know, again, take, take the virus seriously. Take the effects of the virus seriously. Protect your health. Protect your family's health. Protect the people around you. Um, protect essential workers' health. You know, this is a serious situation. However, the source of this virus is really getting very, um, it, it's getting hard to tell what is going on and people rightly have questions around it. And so, you know, the idea that, you know, it's a conspiracy theory to bring this up or that this is, you know, some kind of craziness to question what's really going on. With where this came from and the reaction to it, I think is you know completely valid, especially since this is ma this is from Newsweek. This all this stuff is coming out on mainstream or, or uh, you know larger, more well-respected news channels. Dr. Anthony Fauci is an advisor to President Donald Trump and something of an, of an American folk hero for a steady, calm leadership during the pandemic crisis. At least one poll shows that Americans trust Fauci more than Trump on the coronavirus pandemic, and a few scientists are, are portrayed on TV. And few scientists are portrayed on TV by Brad Pitt. But just last year, the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the organization led by Dr. Fauci, funded scientists funded scientists at the Wuhan Institute of Virology and other institutions for work on gain-of-function research on bat coronaviruses in 2019 with the backing of uh, NIAID, or National Institute of Health, committed $3.7 million over six years for research that included some gain-of-function work. The program followed another $3.7 million five-year project for collecting and studying bat coronaviruses, which ended in 2019, bringing the total to $7.4 million. Many scientists have criticized gain-of-function research, which involves manipulating viruses in the lab to explore their potential for infecting humans because it creates a risk of starting a pan pandemic from accidental release. SARS-CoV-2, the virus now causing a global pandemic, is believed to have originated in bats. U.S. intelligence, after originally asserting that the coronavirus had occurred naturally, conceded last month that the pandemic may have originated in a leak from the Wuhan lab. Conceded last month. U.S. intelligence. <laughs> okay. At this point, most scientists say it's possible, but not likely that the pandemic virus was engineered and manipulated. It's possible. Dr. Fauci did not respond to Newsweek's request for comment. NIH responded with a statement that said, in part, most emerging, emerging human viruses come from wildlife, and these represent a significant threat to public health and biosecurity in the U.S. and globally, as demonstrated by the SARS epidemic of 2002-03 and the current COVID-19 pandemic. Scientific research indicates there is no evidence that suggests the virus is created in a laboratory. Really? Okie dokie. We'll just take your word for it. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Yes. Um, I just, the story just gets weirder and weirder. It doesn't actually stop getting weird. And that's, 
Um, again, when this all started, if you guys remember when this all started uh, weeks ago, over a month ago, a month and a half ago, when this really started to ramp up, I was saying, you know, I said, this thing is going to go down. It's going to be crazy. All kinds of hell is going to break loose. Uh, you know, there's going to be all kinds of fallout from this. And for years, there's going to be people dissecting what really happened. Um, years from now, you know, two years from now, three years from now, we're going to start seeing um, analysis, reports, investigations, whether it be by alternative media or mainstream media. But there's going to be a lot of things coming out going, oh, what really happened was this. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. Uh, and we're going to find out that what we, you know, what we thought was happening was not at all what was happening. And, of course, if that, if that news is coming from alternative news sources, everybody's going to cry conspiracy theory and cry. Oh, my God, you crazy people talking about what's really going on. How, how dare you? Destroy the the official narrative. <laughs> but nobody knows what the hell is going on. Um, and we're still finding out. Hey guys, remember to like the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. And you can support the channel at the links below. PayPal, Square, Patreon, etc. Thank you.